everyone, welcome to another episode of a CareCollab video. This time I have teamed up with the six other channels and we are talking about our personal experiences growing the orchid Ancelia Africana. And the channels participating are Stephen Van Kampen Lewis, Didi Blooms, Patricia's Orchids, Tokyo World Mark, The Orchid Saga, and last but not least, Ninja Orchids, whom we thank for coordinating this care collab. We are all posting today our videos about Ancelia Africana, and the links to the videos are available in the description. Please check the other channels out for more information, as we are growing the same orchid in different environments and even different setups. As the name says, Ancelia Africana is an African species. It is widespread throughout the subtropical areas of Southern Africa. In spite of getting to be very large orchids, they are epiphytic and they grow in spectacular clumps perched on the taller trees. Ancelia is a genus with only one species, Africana. However, there are several forms and varieties in this species, going from giant size to more compact plants. This variation extends to the flower size, the coloration and patterning of the blooms. Such variety is due to the wide range of native habitats as they grow in a multitude of environments from open areas along dry warm coasts and the rivers to dense humid forests. The blooms are fragrant and they vary from a pure yellow green or mustard yellow background to more or less blotched with dark brown spots. These spots and uh, the coloration of the petals and sepals earned this species uh, the common name of leopard orchid. My plant is still a young one, but um, it will never grow to a giant size, I hope, <laughs> as presumably it is a more compact uh, clone. At least I bought it as such. It should be about blooming size and uh, I'm hoping she will bloom next year as this species blooms from late uh, winter to early summer. I received this orchid from Africa one year ago. This was part of an import from Afri Orchids in South Africa. It was quite funny because Ninja Orchids and uh, Met by Nature also imported orchids from that same nursery with the same import. This Ancelia Africana it lost several leaves upon arrival from South Africa. It got me worried for several weeks, but it soon started to regrow. And um, amazingly, it grew nine new growths before winter came. It was absolutely amazing. Also considering this is a warm loving orchid and I don't get very high temperatures during summer. My summer temperatures usually go between 22 and 26 Celsius. On the other hand, I have high light, which this orchid requires, and the mild temperatures allow me to grow it in full sun during most part of the day. Although lacking the real hot temperature during summer, my winters are mild, which comes in favor of this orchid. Nights uh, in winter can go as low as 4 Celsius, but um, last winter they didn't get cooler than 7 Celsius, which was excellent as I kept this orchid outdoors all winter, only protected by the porch, by the roof of the porch. Although this orchid requires a winter rest with a drop in temperature, maybe this was a bit too cool for it. However, she did not seem to mind. and. Um, she restarted to grow as soon as days got longer and nights warmed up a little bit. I'm amazed to see that there are five new shoots growing now. I'm quite happy with it. Last year's pseudobulbs look sort of yellowish. That is the way they should look, I, I believe, meaning they are getting enough light. This orchid came bare root and when I repotted it, the existing roots were no good at all but uh, it soon started growing new roots. Apart from the roots that uh, anchor the plant and also absorb water and nutrients, 
There are also several needle-like roots pointing upwards, which in time will form a dense mass around the pseudobulbs. This is a curious adaptation to the environment, as um, these needle-like roots, they are meant to catch the rotting leaves and detritus upon which the plant feeds in the wild. This orchid is spotted in a mix of orchid bark with charcoal. I place some aquarium stones on top of the medium, but uh, with watering, they are sinking in the pot. It is a way of giving the substrate extra drainage. This substrate should dry out quickly. While growing, I water this orchid as soon as it gets dry, and I fertilize every week, same way as I fertilize other high feeders. During winter, I did not water much, as this orchid was dormant. I just um, gave it a few drops now and then to avoid dehydration of the pseudobulbs. And I also did not fertilize while it was dormant. And so, this is what I have to say about my Ancelia Africana. Uh, this is quite a nice orchid to grow, and I'm very happy to have it. Hopefully, it will bloom next year. For the time being, please check the other channels. I know Ninja Orchid has blooms to show you. I don't know if any of the other channels collaborating in this episode have blooms too, but maybe they do. Please use the links in the description to check them out for further information too. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll be back soon with another video.